Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Sean from Nodo Acres. Today's adventure sponsored by, well, not sponsored by, but definitely we're going to Lowe's. <laughs> okay, y'all. Today we are going to Lowe's to pick up some soil for our raised blueberry beds. And that's what we're after today. We're going to get some peat dirt and some kind of good garden soil and probably some perlite and hopefully that'll take care of our beds and we will be able to transplant our blueberries okay y'all let me show you this they uh, have their seeds out they have all kinds of it looks like fairy morse seeds out so looks like they got a pretty good selection this year. I am looking to see if I can find the heirloom seeds. Every once in a while they have a pretty decent little heirloom selection but they must not have them out right now. So on to our adventure. Come on Maddie. Okay, there you go. Hello y'all. This is this is where we're gonna get our, our soil to transplant our blueberries. The camera's kinda wobbly. We're going out to the garden center now. Now we're gonna go out to the garden center where there's lots of gardening stuff. This is where the gardening stuff Check is. Around. I know that you want to see the gardening stuff, but not really much, but there's a lot. All right, so we're going to get uh, a nice bag of perlite. Help our soil drain a little better. Come back here to the back and see what kind of soil they have. All right, we got us some peat moss and some uh, manure compost, some perlite. And since this was about all they had, we got some miracle Grow Performance Organics uh, in-ground soil. And uh, all that should total up to a little over six and a half cubic feet. And if my calculations were correct, we needed six cubic feet. Say hi, Maddie. Hi. Okay, now, we have to go pick up some inch and a quarter screws that I am out of. Okay, one more stop. We're gonna go check on some prices on some one inch PVC. We are going to build a hoop house later this spring. So we gotta get some prices and find out how much we can afford to buy. Okay, y'all. Thanks to mom and pop's generous birthday gift, we were able to get the soil and the perlite and everything we needed to make our raised beds for our blueberries. All right, y'all, we are back from our trip. Got a big old thing, bale of peat moss here. We're gonna start by mixing some of this soil up and uh, put it in our new buckets. I should have done a DIY on these. I probably will on the next one. They're a little out of round here. But what they are is down in here, old onion husk. This is some drain, like French drain pipe with a sock over it to help keep the material out of it. I just bought a 25 foot length of it and cut it in half used it for my two barrels. You just take one end of it and you tie the sock off like that. Wrap it, I cut it in half, so it's got equal pieces in each side. And then uh, you take a piece of inch and a quarter or inch and a half conduit, whatever you have, and you cut a little hole in the top of the pipe and you shove it down in there. And then you bring this sock back up over the top and hook it to it. 
so that no material gets down inside that sock. And what you do is you cut a drain hole about five, five and a half inches up the side. That way you have a drain hole for when you water it. And I put my, happen to put mine right in line with my watering port. And if you can see down in there, you see where I put the, the zip tie. I, I kind of drilled at an angle so that the zip tie would be up against the, the side there. And then what you do is you fill it up, you put a little bit of sand down in the bottom layer so that uh, you've got something that's gonna help wick up that dirt. I've got some sand in the back of the truck I still gotta get. And then I'm gonna put a mix of peat moss and compost manure and uh, some organic uh, soil and some perlite. We're gonna mix that all up and we're gonna put even amounts in there till these barrels are full. And that way, what happens is, is you fill it up to that five and a half inch mark where, wherever your drain hole is. Mine is set just above where that French drain pipe is, which is about five inches. So the hole's about five and a half. It'll always hold about five inches of water down there. Self-wicking. So what it does is it pulls the water up through the sand material and up into your peat moss and your soil and then you don't have to water as often. So I had one set up a few years back and I only had to water it maybe once every three weeks, even in the heat of summer. So they work really good. So on with the project. Well, y'all, my blueberry transplant turned into a longer video than I thought. So we're going to make it a two parter. So I appreciate you guys watching this first part. Thank you. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, ring that bell so you don't miss out on anything that's going on here at Noto Acres. We sure do appreciate y'all. God bless y'all.